We continue here on Sporting News Radio. I am Todd Wright. Uh, through our very good friends at After School All Stars and the Touchdown Shutdown Program, uh, we bring you another one of their uh, good people uh, working very hard uh, with uh, uh, youth in the uh, in their community to make sure that uh, kids after school uh, know what's good and what's not so good out there. And Kevin Payne of the Chicago Bears, DB, is part of the program and uh, always uh, seemingly making time to uh, talk to kids or do whatever is necessary via the program or otherwise to make sure that uh, kids are making the right choices. And uh, Kevin joins us here on the program. Kevin, very good to have you on. We'll talk some football coming up, but uh, tell me about why you're involved with the, with the effort. Um, well, you know, I grew up in a – basically, I, I grew up in a small town, and um, I never had um, professional athletes that could come around and talk to me and my friends. And also, growing up as a kid, I've seen so many friends and um, family members as well just going going in the wrong direction. And I think all that they needed was a little guidance from um, positive role models and I think just the little things and, um, and to help out in the kid's life. What sort of guidance uh, have have you been able to offer uh, when you're trying to get uh, a, a message to a child, to a kid, but at the same time you don't want to talk down to them and and you want to make it sound sort of you know casual and and, and easy to understand? Well, first of all, um, I just want them to, first thing to have confidence in themselves. Um, I think that's the most important thing. Just let them know anything is possible. No matter where you come from, no matter what you're going through, anything is possible. And um, secondly, you need goals. Um, try to let each kid know that they need to set up themselves with goals, and um, then they can go from there trying to accomplish them. Again, Kevin is uh, one of uh, a number of players in the National Football League who are participating in the After School All Stars program. We have talked about it before here on the show. The website is afterschoolallstars.org. Kevin, like many of his cohorts in the program, on other teams in the NFL, donating on a per-tackle basis to after-school All-Stars, which raises money to give at-risk kids more after-school programming for sports, for tutors, and any number of things uh, that are out there. And uh, Kevin, what are some of the more interesting uh, things you've been asked by the the kids that you've talked to uh, in and around the program, or... uh, even outside the program when you do uh, devote some time to the youth in the community? Um, you know, most kids just um, basically think that most people want to know what do we do every day as um, as a professional football player, um, how much your car costs, what type of house you live in, things like that. And, um, you know, basically the kids are just excited to see a professional athlete. And um, I think it's just it's a it's a good thing where you can come back um, put back in time into the community and um, and just help raise the awareness for kids. You know, things to do after school, school activities, something that's positive, a positive influence for them. Don't you love the enthusiasm you receive when uh, you you do uh, go on uh, uh, on assignments like this and uh, and devote your time and like you you talked about the word positive. Uh, uh, from conversations I've had with Igor Oshansky and Thomas Howard and and uh, others in the program, uh, that's uh, that's what they enjoy about it. Knowing the kids are getting more out of it, right? But uh, you're getting something out of it as well. As well, uh, I mean, of course, um, it always makes you feel good to know that you have been helping someone else out. Um, even more when it's a kid, you know, just to see the expression on their faces when you tell them about the things that you went through as a child. And um, it's, it's no greater feeling to seeing someone, um, letting them, you know, the confidence that you build in someone to think um, where they can be able to be successful in life, you know. And that's that's what this program is for. It's, um, it's building confidence, um, physical, emotional, and um, just trying to build their academic skills where they can succeed in life, you know. Kevin Payne with us from the Chicago Bears, one of 14 players on various NFL teams participating in the Touchdown Shutdown fundraising initiative to benefit after-school All-Stars to bring more after-school programming to youth nationwide. Third year of the program, Kevin donating on a per-tackle basis to after-school All-Stars and, as important or more, donating his time. Afterschoolallstars.org is the website. Uh, 
do you think kids like the orange jerseys that the Bears always wear the home game closest to Halloween like I saw you in when I flew up for the game on Sunday? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Um, you know, it's, we love wearing orange jerseys. Uh, we do it once a year, and um, we have a lot of success when we wear those jerseys. So, you know, we had a lot of success Sunday. So, you know, I wish we could wear them every Sunday <laughs> if we play like that. But, um, yeah, it's nice to go out there and um, wear the orange jerseys and, you know, get good victories when we do that. Good to uh, get a victory uh, in first one in nearly a month. Now, granted, there was a bye there immediately after you won that third game in a row against Detroit. The very difficult loss, just like last year. That was a game I was at last year at the Georgia Dome, was that Atlanta game. This year, it's no easier. The result is the same. It's not quite as dramatic. And then you go to Cincinnati, and uh, the Bengals just run rough shot over you. So there's a bounce back against Cleveland. But, Kevin, the 800-pound elephant in the room here is that Cleveland's not very good. So in beating a team like that, you get the W. But is there still room for improvement in terms of getting the win? But, yes, we know Cleveland's having some problems. And how do you look ahead to the next one with Arizona coming in? Um, I think I think there's always room for improvement. You know, the biggest thing for us is to um, – just take this win and build off of it. And and as we watch them, there's so many good things that we did. But, of course, we want to see what we did wrong as well and watch them and, and try to correct those things as well because we know Arizona's a great team that's coming in. And um, and we just want to go out and play hard like we did against Cleveland and try to get another victory. What, what do victories, regardless of the opponent, uh, what do victories do for a, a team's confidence coming off a rough couple of games like I described where you went on the road knowing you're coming home, playing Cleveland, playing Arizona before you got the short week and the road trip out to San Francisco. Are you part of what you think is a confident football team that can grow and be more confident as the season goes on? Of course. Um, uh, wins always have confidence, especially after you come off to um, losses as we did in the last the two previous weeks. So, uh, I think last week was an important week for us, and, you know, especially playing in front of our home crowd. We wanted to come home and um, we wanted to win that game. And uh, we don't look at it as, I mean, Cleveland, they have losses, but we felt like they was a good team. And as you watch, watch them on film, you know, they have a lot of great athletes. So um, we just we knew we had to go out and fight hard, and I think we, had, we prepared ourselves well so that we, we worked very hard on the practice field, and um, that's why we was able to come up with the victory. One of the things that you've sort of touched on and uh, even some of your teammates have touched on is there's still a need for improvement as you move through this mid part of the season, specific to what you're asked to do, not individually, but from a team standpoint, uh, where would you like to see uh, yourself defensively about a month down the road? Better in what area? Um, I, I mean, I just want to be better all around whether it's um, on defense, um, big play abilities, making big plays, just put myself in a better situation to help my team out, whether it's causing turnovers, um, getting takeaways, uh, special teams, making plays, mm-hmm. whatever I can do to help my team win. And, um, and just, you know, buy in with, with everything the coaches are saying, the um, schemes and techniques. And, um, you know, that's what I'm trying to do, just to be a better player. Well, from a team standpoint, one of the things I talked about with uh, your former quarterback and now post-game analyst on Comcast, Jim Miller, last week was the inability of your defense to get off the field on third down. And you did a good job of, against that against Cleveland. Granted, you got them in a lot of predictable down-and-distance situations, knowing what was coming, and they've struggled in the passing game. But that's an area where, hey, you'll take forcing a team to go one of 11 on third down every game. You do more of that, get off the field, get the ball in Jay and Matt's hands, you're, you're going to be fine. Right, right. You know, any time you can get a team to go one and 11 on um, third downs, man, that's that's a big plus. And um, that's something we've been striving for all year is um, winning the third down battle and um, also winning the um, turnover ratio battle. And I think we accomplished both of those um, on Sunday. Kevin Payne with us, again, uh, part of the Touchdown Shutdown program that uh, we work with here on the program. Uh, Kevin, uh, defensive back uh, for the Chicago Bears. That'll...